check it out. So I have been stockpiling sticker packs at this point. There are well over probably 40 packs in here. So this is going to be definitely kind of a rolling video. I'm thinking I have to change up my structure to this just because you guys have been sending in so many packs. So basically what I'm going to do is probably just record maybe 15, 20 minutes, cut it at that, and then, you know, just make a next part as soon as I'm finished with this. So set some of these aside and let's get into it. Some of this stuff here at the bottom was the stuff that was sent in a little earlier, so try to keep that at least a little consistent here. I know this pack actually was mistakenly missed out on on the previous sticker submission, so we'll start there and work our way around. So Neff has actually sent some sticker packs in the past. We've got a bunch of stuff here, nice little Instagram note to start it off. So we got Jim underscore Neff for his Instagram. Appreciate everybody that makes my life a little bit easier holding uh, the kind of notes down for the front of the pack. So we've got some Hello My Name Is coming up next. These are some pretty cool green sea lines. You don't see these too often. People mostly stick to that red and blue, but that's a good way to kind of stand out extra is get some different colors mixed in there. So a bunch of those mixed in here. Then we've got some little holographic style Nefster monster knockoff. A few of those vinyls. Very cool. We got some more priority mail tags. Out of Philly, so you can see he's got a little bit more wicked to his style. Definitely a little bit more expressive and uh, something super clean and hard. Almost a full wicked there. So cool little almost banknotes. I doubt these are real euros. They feel just like paper, but they are printed double sided, so maybe it is a 500 euro. I generally don't know uh, foreign currencies too well, so could be fooled with that. We've got some FedEx postals here mixed in. Cool little purple backdrop on those FedEx. Don't see uh, purple stickers too often. Even hicked it up with some blanks, so be sure to pass these along to somebody else that might want to get hooked up with some purple backdrops. Some more priority mails, just pen, ballpoint pen tags on there. Sent some uh, big guys as well. So these are some doubled up priorities. Hard style on the NEF. Very nice. And another ballpoint pen. Really digging his throw up. Something a little bit, you know, more detailed than a traditional throw up, but really nice, consistent style there. Definitely way better than mine, to say the least. We got another postal. Somewhat of a mirrored image here on more of a piece style. So there we've got some stuff from Neff. So big thank you for sending that over. And as always, you'll find everybody's Instagrams in the description of the video. You'll be able to kind of just click over there and give them a follow if you want. Next up, we got Johnny Cake with Live the Dream. And we got these Live the Dream tags. Nice final stickers, bunch of printouts of the same image. Sweet tag on there. Definitely kind of a three by four style size. These will go out very nicely in some other packs. Definitely a tight pack from Live the Dream. So I don't have a timestamp on my actual camera to see how many packs we're gonna get through in just a video, but hopefully average about 10 or so. So as always, I like to describe how to send in your own stickers for this video. So like you're seeing, everybody sends in a little packaged up envelope with their stickers, but you can also include an empty envelope with a few stamps on it. I recommend two or three stamps and then address it back to yourself. So under my hand is someone else's address for a return pack. Basically what I'll do is then throw in some stickers from this and get them sent out right to you. If you're international, just shoot me a DM over on Instagram and I'll let you know how to get you know a pack sent out to you just because stamps won't work all the same internationally. So I'll set that aside and then we can go through the stickers and hopefully find out who it's from. So it looks like the majority of stickers in here are from Root, R-O-O-T. I'll see if I can come up with a full Instagram handle as well. Oh, I see it peeping out. Oh, we even got a little hit up from the sticker trade. So shout out to some other trade services. Always good to see stuff being mixed around and cross-pollinating. So we got a Hello My Name Is Drew OTR. So maybe this isn't actually Roots. But we got a little blank Hello My Name Is. Almost feels like an eggshell as well. So cool style there. Got a little website address. Nice bombing signs hit up from their free packs. Another sticker from Mad Bomber. This actually looks like a clear sticker too. So that's tight. That looks sweet on wherever it ends up. Here's the stuff that I was mentioning from Root. So he seems to have a play on words here with actual almost tree roots maybe. Or a lightning bolt strike. I got a tag R-O-O-T. 
T. It's just some priority mail, some more of those root style. So maybe it's roots with a Z on Instagram. Be sure to follow that up myself and see what he's got over there. And be sure to just check the description if you want the most accurate version of, of all these. Big thanks for sending the, the full color stuff as well. It livens up the packs quite a bit. Gets your, uh, gets you a little bit better exposure as well. Sweet little silver chrome on a priority. Very nice use of the paint marker. Got some thermals here. Paint marker as well. Somewhat of a harder style, but then almost a throw up style on the O's. Another thermal. Big kind of 4x8, I'm sure. These are uh, a little bit bigger than your normal sticker. So very cool stuff from Root. Thank you for sending it in the pack. Got another empty pack here, so I'll be packing that full of stickers and sending it back your way. So we got a little note here from Switch saying he just recently found the channel and he's hyped on you know, all the content that's here. So big shout out for you uh, supporting the channel. And uh, this is first sticker submission, so let's check it out. Also got his Switch graph right there. I think he's actually hit me up for some custom prints since uh, sending this original pack. So let's see what some of his hand-drawn stuff looks like. So we got Switch in this kind of small silver chrome. We got this cool little AK design. Very nice detailing on that. Some switch lettering. Almost a straight letter there. Got a wood grain switch throw up or maybe a, a Wookiee texture. Something a little funky there. Got the switch blade with his T. Very nice touch. And one last small little Bic lighter. Very cool. So thanks for the pack switch. Be sure to check his stuff out on Instagram as well. Got a good sense this is going to be a crazy pack from Fiend. He hit the first one up with the blue top as well as the full color, so crazy on that. Also sent the blank envelope. I'm sure there's some stamps hidden in here as well. So you can hit him up on Instagram over at insta.fiend. He said he, he's gotten a new address sending his way, so maybe hold off on the pack. So I'll circle back with you, make sure you're all ready to go to receive the pack. But let's not waste too much time getting into these heavy hitters. So crazy blue top here. Full ink color, nice brickwork, and double character on the uh, throw up with all those drips. These are going to be some prized possessions if they land in your pack, I'm sure. Another character on the O. Got another note here, so saying, what's up, Sive? It's your boy Fiend from Instagram. He loaded up the sticker submissions with a bunch of hand drawns in hopes that artists would expose to his work. Great, great way to do it. Show off on the video as well as show off once people do receive your stuff as well. Got those two blue tops on front. One blue top is worth one free sticker pack from me. You decide where it goes. That's great to see. So if you end up with either of these blue tops in your packs, be sure to uh, follow back up with InstaFiend and he'll send a bigger pack your way. So that's a double down. That sounds great to me. And even more info can be found on the back of the blue tops. So DM him for details. You won't get lost in the translation if that's the case. And uh, he's usually changing bum lives. You might have recognized that quote from uh, one of the custom print videos. So big ups to Instafine. Let's get through the rest of his pack. See what other crazy stuff he sent. Very nice money sign kind of texting there. RAS. Sweet little throw up as well. Fiend tag with that blue drop shadow. Red drop shadow, nice touch. Deeper red drop shadow, awesome touch. Got that light yellow, different character here. He definitely mixes it up quite a bit, and he's been pretty heavy busy on uh, on Instagram, so check his page out, definitely be worth the look. We got Prime and Woke, both look in the same style, so maybe they're him hitting him up for somebody else. It looks like he also put his Instagram on all the backs of the stickers. So I know I say this in every video, but that's a great way to make sure people actually can able to circle back on uh, on what you're sending them. And by the time this sticker reaches someone random across the way, they'll be able to circle back and actually find you if they do like your stuff. So good uh, good instance that your stickers can live a little bit more than just through the the one video feature. Crazy tags. Really enjoy his style. Something. Uh, a little different than, than most with the cross off on the eye. Full sharpie uh, highlighter right there. Another throw up. Wokes. Cool little blank here. Nice touch on the light blue. More of those red drop shadows. That's fun little two from rags to riches. Nice play on words. 
another one of those similar style cool double mouth across two letters I don't think I've ever seen that awesome this style D is pretty hard hitting and it works well with that cut off there sweet consistent style crazy full color pack so I'm gonna have to keep one sticker for each of these in every pack no way that uh, this kind of heat is gonna be doubled up or tripled up in a pack got to make sure uh, some of this stuff just spreads as wide as it can that's a great feature of this you know seeing as I have 40 packs to go out and Fiend sent about 40 stickers you know these are gonna spread pretty wide pretty quickly so if you're interested in sending in a pack be sure to always get on as soon as you can because the craziness is only growing it seems and hopefully you know making these videos at 10 or 20 minute segments I'll be able to do a couple a month at this point and that'll be a nice way to make sure people get a proper spotlight and I don't have to rush through the stickers too bad. So, big ups to Instafiend. Thank you for the pack. Crazy heavy hitting. And uh, let's see what we got next. Looks like on the outside we got Crust. And courtesy enough, we've got the Instagram handle right on the back. So we got Crust Graffiti right there. I've worked with Crust a little bit on the custom printing as well. So it seems like we got some consistent themes going. Got some tags to start. Very sweet. Some half tone with a hand drawn crust over top. Maybe trim this out, put it on a very specific uh, nice contour. Another crust tag. Now you might recognize something similar to this from the custom prints. Very sweet digital style character. Double crust tag. Dabba tag. Another crust there. Little mix of everything here. Some double crust, triple crust. Sweet little style. I like that print a lot. It looks like it's a non-intentional kind of failure of ink, but that is a sweet style. Old priority mails here. Well, we got some January 2008s. Some big boys again. And some more custom printed outs from him. So sweet stuff from Crust. I'm always digging what he's coming up with these characters. So go check out his Instagram and we'll see what the next pack holds. Next up we've got a maze.am. Little hello my name is to start off. So we've got an AM above a maze and then looks like we got a tag of a crew over here. So VAS I'm assuming or VWS based on this one. It's a cool little two hellos to start off. This looks like a little bit different of a tag, maybe K-U-R-S, Kurs. Another Amaze up there. Blue and purple paint marker on some thermals. Similar style here, another Amaze throw up. Switching up, you know, where the purple and blue are, but must be some favorite coloring or some of his go-to paint markers. Real nice touch cutting these all the way out. Uh, looks sweet layered up with some other art, I'm sure. Give it a little bit more interaction with the medium it's on. A little egg of uh, Hell My Name is as well. A maze tag on there. Another thermal. Definitely room for two. Also got a return pack here, so I'll be packing that away. Make sure you get some stickers in return for your help. And a UFO at the end. Very nice to see his sticker show up once again. Got another note on top. Let's check this out. Looks like this will probably be the last pack in this video. So we've got Sive. Thanks for your videos. Always explaining things well and getting me started to doing more graffiti and art. Thank you, Kleb. Always fun to inspire you guys back. Enjoy the sticker pack. P.S. It's more of an art than a graffiti Instagram, but follow him over here at Damon Paints. So very sweet. And check out that illustration. That is crazy. Very unique style here. Tons of half toning and whatnot. Just the detail here in the face is awesome. The little beret and that blonde hair. Damn, very heavy stuff. Excited to see what the rest of this includes. So it's a good way to end this pack. I'm gonna say the least. I didn't know nearly what was gonna be included. So we've got this sweet little illustration, very art oriented as he mentioned. So we've got Debbie Harry, not familiar with her, but got those blue hair and crazy half toning. So awesome sticker, slightly smaller one. Looks like it's a printout, a mural he maybe painted, so that's a sweet deal as well. 
Cleb little lettering with some paint markers on your uh, traditional postal. Got the Cleb classic skull guy. Very familiar with that at this point. These are some gnarly illustrations. You got almost like puzzle pieces in this girl's face. Great use of coloring in there. Something far above my league in the actual realistic drawing side. More Cleb skulls. He is quite the well-rounded character style, to say the least. Some eggs on those priority eggs. Got some stamps included, so I'll be sure to get a pack back to you. Pines tag, unique, another Pines tag, so not sure if those are his or passing them along. Everything else is tagged with this Kleb, so. These are gnarly style though, like them a lot. So it looks like he's actually paying it forward with extra stamps, so always appreciate it. You know, when I accidentally don't pack enough stamps on one or pack something too full, it's great to have some extra, so appreciate that from you, Kleb. Definitely a very generous way to finish this out. These stickers are absolutely gnarly. I might have to snag one off the top to say, keep one for my collection. But he do have that original note, so maybe I'll keep that guy instead. Awesome sticker submissions, to say the least. I'm probably two hours away from completing all the filming here, but be sure to go check everybody out in the description of the video. We've got stuff from some crazy artists here. Big ups to everybody that sent in. I'll be sure to uh, do my best to tag everybody accurately, but if you notice somebody's missing down in the description, go check them out. Go uh, leave a comment if you do know what their Instagram handle is or if you've got suggestions as well. So big shout out to everybody that sent in. If you're interested in sending stickers in for a future video, be sure to just check out the description for a full detail on how to send in stickers. It's pretty simple, you just gotta pack it up, mail it to the address that's down there, and if you want stickers back, include some stamps and an envelope that's addressed to you. If you caught it, I actually had to go through and fill out a whole new backdrop of this video. I filled the last one totally full, so without having to go over too many people, now's a good time to start fresh and layer some stuff up on a new backdrop. If you have any suggestions about what to do with the previous backdrop, hit me in the comment section down below. I've got no major ideas. I might keep these as somewhat collage style uh, backdrops and maybe tile them together in the future, but as of right now, this guy's going off into a little bit of storage. That's going to do it for me, guys. Peace.